Speaking of rain, Imperial County had yet to recover from last month's storm damage when they were hit by the third rainstorm during this monsoon season yesterday afternoon. With a quick summary of yesterday's aftermath, here's KSWT News 13's Jose Martinez. It came out of nowhere. Strong winds, a massive amount of rainfall, and some even reported seeing and hearing hail. And just like that, it was gone. The storm lasted less than 30 minutes, but like the previous two storms in Imperial County, it left its mark. In this commercial area in El Centro, people leaving work had a hard time getting to their cars as storm water blocked them from even crossing the street. In Imperial, the windstorm knocked over this tree on the corner of North Imperial Avenue and Barioni Boulevard. With all the rain and strong wind, the tree was completely uprooted from the bank it was on and landed on a parked car. A tree nearby lost a couple of branches and another tree which was previously uprooted in a recent storm was also affected. Linda Trim works in the business center. She shows concern over the cars that park in the lot surrounded by trees. I park my car in the back so there's no trees there but there are power lines. Yeah, I am. It's We've never had those big of winds come through here like that. Um, Dr. Colada's people park here so their patients, yeah. They, all these trees could fall on their patients' cars. It's bad. Back in El Centro, this stump is all that is left of a tree that fell over during yesterday's storm. A neighbor described the tree falling as a big boom, like a cannon going off. North of that residence, a fire destroyed a home after storm water got into the waterhead and caused the house to catch fire. Three teenagers were inside the house when the fire started, but they were evacuated and suffered no injuries. Imperial County Fire Captain Chad Whitlock tells KSWT that his firefighters ran into several obstacles while fighting the fire. Difficult time fighting it uh, due to the uh, added addition that they had done to the residents. Uh, also, the power uh, was not able to be cut immediately due to the uh, overwhelming responses by IED. So it took them quite a while to get there. and We were uh, actively getting uh, a small amount of electric shock through some of the firefighters while actively fighting the fire. After spending less than 30 minutes in Imperial County, the storm headed north, weakened, and eventually dissipated in the deserts of Coachella Valley. And as the old saying goes, third time was a charm for this tree as it took the third rainstorm during this monsoon season for it to finally give way. This one required immediate attention as it was blocking 6th Street here in El Centro. In Imperial County, I'm Jose Martinez, KSWT News 13.